All right, guys, uh, this is uh, quite hilarious. So I'm recording with my new Sony mirrorless for the first time ever. And I'm very excited to be using it to record in my workshop. And I'm testing Anycubic White PLA Plus with the Creality K1 Max. However, I accidentally recorded with the mic turned off. So I'm voicing over it right now. This is Anycubic White PLA Plus. And this is a Brandon James mask from the MTV Scream Ghostface. The Ghostface mask in the MTV version of Scream. It's a full size mask, and I sent it to the K1 Max using my default profile for regular PLA. I made no changes, did no tests, ran no calibrations. I just put the Anycubic PLA Plus White on the K1, sliced up this mask, and sent it to the printer. And as usual, the K1 absolutely destroyed it. Fantastic, absolutely perfect. First try and with very minimal supports. The bed adhesion on the K1 is fantastic. It's always fantastic. Matter of fact, it's so good. I couldn't even pull it off. It's this good. <laughs> yep, there you go. That's how good it is. How's that for bed adhesion? pops right off and you'll see the supports are still on the bed. So they broke away really nice. The Anycubic filament did really well with the supports. They held on strong enough to print, but not strong enough that I couldn't remove them. And I printed this entire mask with such small supports. Here's the supports still on the bed. Here's the rest of the supports. Just this little bit on the mouth here and just this little bit at the bottom of the bed. That's it for the entire print. And you'll see they just snap right off. So that's super cool. Some filaments are too strong for their own good and they make uh, supports hard to get off. And a cubic had a really good balance of strength. And here it is still on the bed. Look at that. Those two held the entire model, the entire print. Yeah, I can pop them off. I really think this bed has a lot to do with it. I think this is a really great smooth bed that the K1s come with. When I first got them, I was like, oh my God, what is this garbage bed? What is Creality thinking? with this weird junk. Why not just go with something standard like gold PEI? Then I started to use it. And holy cow, the bed adhesion is fantastic. It's so good. I have Bamboo's version of it on the way. Bamboo makes a cool plate and a high temp plate. They're both the smooth PEI, like come with the K1. And I'm really looking forward to trying them on my Bamboo. So the print quality is good. Everything looks nice. Very, very, very minimal layer lines, though it is not quite as smooth as Creality Hyper PLA. Creality Hyper PLA is still my favorite filament on the K1. It prints the absolute cleanest, but this is quite acceptable. It feels strong. It looks good. The white is white. Sometimes the white is an off white or an odd color of white. This is a really nice white. And I think it's safe to go ahead and add the Anycubic White PLA to the compatible list on the Creality K1 and K1 Max. Again, had I done some calibrating, this would have come even better. But this is straight out of the box, no calibration changes whatsoever. The exact same profile I've been testing all my filaments with. So, what's your favorite scary movie? Anycubic PLA Plus is a go on the K1 Max. And for those of you who'd like to see the time lapse, here it is.
Hey.